So hello guys, today we're back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about the reasons why it can be very common to score lower on your actual MCAT compared to your final practice test or all the other practice MCATs you took in preparation for that real MCAT. So one big reason for this is because we let anxiety and nervousness take over during test day. And so that just holds us back from being able to show the test that we've prepared, that we know the content, and that we also know how to apply that content. But when we allow anxiety and nervousness to take over at that moment, we're not able to show that test um, that we know how to understand and apply that content. So to kind of contextualize the situation, the MCAT in comparison to other standardized tests that we take, like the SAT, is an exam that I think can be really studied for and prepared for um, with ample time and um, good strategy. But the SAT, and it's just like a weird exam where it's not as simple to prepare. I think there's a lot of aptitude that comes and just like plain um, ability to take standardized tests. My roommate back in college, um, what a beast, like this guy literally just prepared for a couple of weeks and took the standardized test 1590. Like my man Jack, just absolutely incredible at standardized test taking. Me on the other hand, I had to prepare a lot to even get a score that, you know, got me into college. But yeah, that's the situation for a lot of people. Not everyone is amazing at standardized taking, but I think the MCAT is an exam that can be studied for, regardless of whether you're good at standardized test taking or you're not. I think it's, a, it's an exam that you can prepare for that if you understand um, how the exam asks questions and you have a good strategy and preparation, you can definitely do, like, do really well. So I think um, to kind of contextualize a little more, there is um, a story I want to tell about when I took the MCAT um, back in January 21st, 2021, so over a year ago. And that's that, you know, I prepared for about six months. And when I went to the test day and I started the ChemPhys section, I was having a hard time. My brain got really foggy. I was like having trouble understanding the words on the screen and just like the rhetoric of the exam itself. So I was having a really hard time. I was getting, I was like sweating. I was getting really stressed. So my brain was really foggy. And I think it's because I was just placing so such high stakes on this exam that I struggled to bring about all that knowledge and that ability to apply the content that I had. So that's kind of like the mentality here, like in order to make the most of that test day, you need to be able to suppress those feelings of anxiety and nervousness because if you let those take over, then you're not able to show the exam how much you know and how much you've been able to prepare and then you're wasting your time, even though you prepared uh, a lot. So there's ways to kind of mitigate that situation. One of them is to practice in a standardized setting. So whenever you're taking your exams, don't take random breaks at moments that you won't have breaks on during the actual test. Avoid like consumption, like ex excess consumption of caffeine. You know, a little bit of caffeine is fine, but don't drink too much coffee where you're too stressed or too antsy to even just like sit steady. Let's talk about the three ways in which you could approach this test um, on test day, like the mentalities that you could have. One could be a really high stress mentality where you're placing all those high stakes on this exam, this is a massive exam, like this is gonna determine my admission into medical school. And that's like a mentality that can be very disruptful for your own performance on that test. Why? Because there's so much stress to the point where you can't focus on what's in front of you. And when there's so much stress, so much cortisol just running through your body, you're also struggling to recall all that information and to apply it in the best way possible. So that's one mentality. A second mentality you could have is like the low stress. Okay, I'm gonna just put away all of the anxiety, all of that stress, and I'm just gonna pretend like this is a practice test. That's one where, you know, you could be hunched over like this and just like not really worrying about anything and just kind of trying to read and trying to make the most of that test day. That's one mentality, but you lose like, that's that small amount of stress that really allows you to focus. Now I think the third mentality is the one that really gave me um, the tools to do well on that test day. And that's having the ability to suppress anxiety and stress a little, but at the same time, 
sort of welcoming a little bit of anxiety and stress at the moment. Why? Because when there's that little bit of stress, you really have that mental acuity to do well. It's just that when it's too overwhelming, it gets really hard. Mm -hmm. So I think to kind of summarize that, the mentality that we should have is welcome a little bit of stress that can help you really focus on what's in front of you. But at the same time, have that mentality where you lower the stress levels and you tell yourself that the stakes are not as high as they actually are. And so by that, you can really kind of focus on what's in front of you and keep a relaxed um, body and mind while you take that test. So I think all of those are like some of my useful tips. So yeah, I mean, um, this would be just like a nice and short video. So just let me know what else you wanna know about MCAT exams and if there's anything else that I could uh, share with the channel. So. I hope y'all have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next video.